creationism, creation science, and intelligent design are all labels for the same religious ideology. It's simply been repackaged under different names due to high-profile court losses, such as Edwards v. Aguilard in 1987, in which the U.S. Supreme Court held that the state of Louisiana's Creationism Act was unconstitutional, and Kitzmiller v. Dover, tried in 2005 in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, in which the federal district court found intelligent design to be a form of creationism, and therefore unconstitutional to teach in American public schools. But these resounding legal rebuffs have not deterred ID advocates from pressing their ideological agenda on several fronts. They are currently using the teach the controversy rhetoric as though there is any controversy about evolutionary science within the scientific community. The only controversy is the one fundamentalists have manufactured because scientific facts that fit evolution do not fit their ideology. ID slathers itself with a scientific veneer and employs often debunked pseudoscientific claims like Michael Behe's irreducible complexity, but they don't proffer any credible peer-reviewed evidence in favor of their position. Rather, they attempt to sow doubt in the mind of the public about the established science of evolution. They confound the uneducated with nonsense, which invariably culminates in the following argument. Since science can't answer every question about the origin and mechanisms of our mind-bogglingly complex universe, God did it. Their tactics are sleazy and dishonest and are targeted at their natural constituency. The conservative Christian who gets his misinformation from Fox News Attempting to convince the scientific community is no longer a serious part of their agenda, and for good reason. Intelligent design is not science. Like every religious dogma, ID creationism is interested in propagating its worldview, not in discovering truth. In fact, ID proponents are actively attempting to remove the naturalistic materialism foundational to scientific methodology in order to admit the supernatural, which is not subject to observation, testing, or measurement. It's nothing less than an all-out assault on legitimate science. The two governing goals, as stated by the Discovery Institute's Center for Science and Culture, are as follows. One, to defeat scientific materialism and its destructive moral, cultural, and political legacies. Two, to replace materialistic explanations with the theistic understanding that nature and human beings are created by God. That's right. They're talking about replacing naturalistic materialism with magic. What's next? Replace chemistry with alchemy? astronomy with astrology, and medicine with incantations and animal sacrifice? Would they have doctors replace their physician's desk reference with the Bible and follow the instructions in Leviticus to prevent the spread of leprosy? Which apparently infects houses. Leviticus chapter 14 verses 49 through 53 And he shall take to cleanse the house two birds, and cedar wood, and scarlet, and hyssop. And he shall kill the one of the birds in an earthen vessel over running water. And he shall take the cedar wood, and the hyssop, and the scarlet, and the living bird, and dip them in the blood of the slain bird, and in the running water, and sprinkle the house seven times. And he shall cleanse the house with the blood of the bird, and with the running water, and with the living bird, and with the cedar wood, and with the hyssop, and with the scarlet. But he shall let go the living bird out of the city into the open fields, and make an atonement for the house, and it shall be clean. It may sound absurd, but this attempt to replace materialism with mysticism is very well funded and organized. And it's happening on multiple fronts 
right now. If you're in favor of this kind of slimy deception to advance your ideology, Error, 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 error.